Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and I hope everybody's having a happy Sunday afternoon. Um, I did an in-home haircut. <laughs> I can't afford to go to the beauty shop and we've got one here that uh, charges only $14 you know but I still can't do it. <laughs> if I did that I wouldn't have anything to live on for the rest of the month after I get done paying my bills. But I do the best I can. But anyway. Um, a huge voter fraud arrest forced Democrats to make a confession no one ever saw coming. Now this was posted November 18th of 22. So it's been two days ago. So it's an old one. But um, I didn't see it. Somehow I missed it. But Democrats and the corporate controlled media uh, it says shout down anyone who claims voter fraud exists as a danger to American democracy. <clears throat> well, um, and now a huge voter fraud arrest forced Democrats to make a confession no one ever saw coming. Pennsylvania Democrat Attorney General Josh Shapiro won the Commonwealth gubernatorial election defeating Republican revival Doug Masterino. Uh, Shapiro painted Masterino as an election denying dem domestic extremist after he led the charge for the former President Donald Trump's allegations of fraud in the 2020 election and attended the January 6th rally. The corporate controlled media hailed uh, Shapiro, Shapiro, here I go again, kids. <laughs> Shapiro's win as a victory for demo, uh, democracy, Shapiro's. But one week after the election, Shapiro came clean on election fraud, announcing the arrest of Democrat political consultant Rasheen Cruz for gathering fraudulent petition signatures to qualify his clients for the ballot in Philadelphia municipal elections in 2019. In advance of the 2023 municipal elections, this arrest is an important reminder that interfering with the integrity of our elections is a serious crime. Shapiro stated, by soliciting and organizing, organ, organizing the wide-scale forgery of signatures. Wow. How could anybody get by with doing that? I wonder how long that's been going on over the years of our elections. My goodness, the defendant undermined the democratic uh, process in Philippines. Philadelphians' right to a free and fair election. My office is dedicated to upholding the integrity of the election process across the Commonwealth to ensure everyone can participate in Pennsylvania's future. Isn't that crazy somebody would do that? <clears throat> in a press release, Shapiro described how Cruz recruited assistants to forge signatures to qualify Democrat candidates for the ballot, I would say he couldn't have done that alone. No, he couldn't have done that alone. I've got to move my camera over just a hair. It always gets kitty wampus. Uh, no, he had people working for him, helping him with that. In the press release, Shapiro described how Cruz recruited assistants to forge signatures to qualify Democrat candidates for the ballot. These candidates later withdrew from the race after the fraud became apparent. And if an investigation by the Office of Attorney General found that in 2019 multiple candidates hired crews to help them obtain the requests requests requites requests requites uh Requisite? No. Forget the word. <laughs> it's R-E-Q-U-I-S-I-T-E. Recusite. 
Request is sent. I would say request is sent, but whatever. A amount of signatures needed for their nomination petitions for the Democrat primary races, Shapiro stated. Crews recruited individuals to help with petition work, bringing them to hotel rooms and asking them to write names, addresses, and forge signatures on multiple petitions. Crews then had these petitions notarized. Who would notarize that? And filed with the Pennsylvania Department of State on behalf of his clients. <clears throat> Boy, how did somebody pull stuff like that off? <laughs> he sure did, didn't he? Unbelievable what these people will do. Of the petitions that were reviewed, over 1,000 signatures were determined to be duplicated, he admitted. Many names and addresses were found repeated on various petition pages. Some pages appeared to be photocopied entirely, and some of the list individuals claim to have never signed the petitions in question. Due to the questions around the petition signatures, some candidates chose to withdraw entirely from the election, the Attorney General concluded. Whether Democrats and corporate controlled media want to admit it or not, there is clearly some level of fraud in every American election. How sad. How sad. Denying that exists in the real election denial, threat to democracy? Yes, definitely. It says stay tuned, Conservative Underground News, for any updates. Well, that's been a while back, so. But I hope he pays the price for doing that to the public. Where's the respect to people anymore? Now, wait a minute. I have, okay, what is it? Uh, no free speech, no respect for people, stabbing your friends in the back, especially in Congress, but it happens in real life. It has all through lifetime that I know of. Doing... Uh, when you're sitting in a seat in Congress, you're not supposed to be doing stuff with the uh, Wall Street, but we know somebody that did, and they made millions, and she's going to retire pretty soon, but she's not being punished for it. Now, if you and I were to pull something like that off, we'd never see the light of day. No, we wouldn't. And it could be worse for our punishment. But they just walk around like, nobody can touch me. I didn't do nothing wrong. We're supposed to get a $2,000 Biden promise. Stimulus check. Has anybody seen one yet? That's number five. But I'm not going to keep going. So here we are. <clears throat> crime upon crime and it don't matter where anymore it's not just in our streets it's in Congress everywhere well I don't see too much here I'm interested in right now Runaway Texas Democrats had their plan backfired in a major way. I am not sure about this one. I haven't had a chance to read it. Um, I don't believe that I have it on my desktop. I've got a desktop full of stuff. And I've got to get it cleaned up again. Uh, runaway De uh, Texas Democrats just had their plan backfire in a major way. Uh, Texas State House Democrats fled the state to kill an election integrity bill. The stunt had been going ongoing the stunt had been an ongoing series of de debacles for them. And now they just had their plan backfire in a major way. When Texas Republicans tried to pass a common sense election integrity bill earlier this year, Democrats in the state house lost their minds. 
Without the votes needed to stop the bill, they fled to Washington, D.C., denying the House a minimum number of representatives in attendance to conduct business. This ran out the, out the clock on a special session of the legislature. Hyped up by the left-wing media, the cowardly Democrats' Washington, D.C. trip had been an epic failure. From a private jet flight to Washington, D.C., without mask and alcohol flowing, and a COVID outbreak linked to them being ignored by Joe Biden, the stunt had been a fiasco. Now their plan is blown up in their face as many return to Texas. The Texas Supreme Court ruled the uh, Republican Governor Greg Abbott and the State House Speaker have the right to authorize arrest or detention for runaway Democrats to force them to do the job they were elected to do. The court also affirmed a veto by the governor which prevented the Democrats on the LAM or I am L A M on the I am from collecting a salary for them or their staff. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'd just like to have a fourth of what they get paid. I'd be one tickled person. The House Speaker had issued warrants for fifty two Democrats who fled. Now, with another special session of the legislature called, it's only a matter of time before enough Democrats are forced to do their jobs in the election integrity bill passes. Democrat state legislatures fled to stop bills they don't like is a time-worn tactic for them. In Wisconsin, Democrats fled the state to stop Scott Walker's public sector union reform bill. The longest legislature walk out in American history was by Indiana Democrats fleeing the state to stop a right-to-work bill. In both Wisconsin and Indiana, the moves failed and the bills passed. With the Texas Democrat stunt going down in flames, it could discourage outrageous Democrat obstructions to election integrity measures in the future. Stay tuned for updates. But I hope that's all been settled now, even though this was, uh, what did I say this was posted? This is kind of a late deal here, but I ran upon it and it sounded interesting to me, so I grabbed it. This was August 12th. Well, that one there was Runaway Texas Democrats. That was posted August 12th of 21. So hopefully that's all been taken care of and settled. And the ones that don't want to do their job, they should be fired. Get new blood in there. We seem to be saying that a lot these days, don't we? Well, we need new blood. We need to clean house. Completely. It's just one thing after another. And these people, they just, I don't know. And look at the money they get paid. And they just, they fled to other states? <laughs> Is that cowardly? Is that being a chicken? Oh, I can think of other words, but I won't. Okay, people, I'll be back. Give somebody a blessing today, please. It makes you feel so good in your heart. I'll be back. <laughs>